Um, what I do is I help lead uh, 76 surgeons. Um, as you are aware, there is a lot of health care changes going on, and hopefully I'll be able to help shepherd them through these changes and at the end have um, higher quality at lower cost. All trauma surgeons are general surgery surgeons. Um, that's a common misconception. Um, we, are, we have gone through a general surgery residency program, which is five years in length, and then we've done additional training, which is either one to two years of surgical critical care and trauma. Probably the biggest change is minimally invasive surgery. We're looking at ways trying to expand the scope of minimally invasive surgery that, that the abdominal incisions are much smaller um, and the complexity of the cases we can do with minimal disruption of other tissues is, is greatly enhanced. Trauma centers, the highest level is level one and level two, level three, and then this state actually has some level fours, or they're developing some level fours. Level one has all of the requirements to take care of the sickest of the sick patients. So any head injury, chest, extremity, abdominal, any of those aspects, uh, level one trauma center has the facilities, the manpower, and um, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The, the trauma center is actually a, an institutional commitment. Everyone in the hospital has to be committed to the care of these patients because literally you need to meet all of their needs in a very short period of time. You have someone who's been previously healthy, typically has they have a devastating accident. In this area, motor vehicle accidents are our most common cause of injury. Um, and if you can meet all their needs for the first couple days, they tend to have the resources to survive and go on and have a very productive life. But boy, you only have a short period of time, you know, we talk about the golden hour, that if you can get to the patient to a trauma center within an hour of the accident, the, the probability of survival and a um, recoverable survival, return to a functional state of, of life is very high. CORE is this area's uh, organ procurement organization. There's 52 of them scattered throughout the country, and what uh, CORE's role is when individuals die or are soon to die, uh, give the patient and the family an opportunity to help others through a gift of life. That can be their organ donation or tissue donation. Um, we originally became involved because we're a trauma center. Unfortunately, people come in with devastating head injuries, brain injuries that we cannot survive, that, that we cannot help, can, cannot help them survive. Um, and through their gift, they can literally save the lives of six other people and enhance the quality of hundreds of people's lives through tissue donation. One of the commitments of this organization has always been to teach. So we have always had uh, residency programs. We have seven residency programs, uh, general surgery, internal medicine, uh, family practice, pathology, um, AOA internship, uh, transitional and emergency uh, medicine. Uh, we have school of nursing, uh, school of respiratory therapy, um, radiology, histology, um, the surge tech program, and I'm sure I'm missing some, but, but the hospital has been committed to education. Through that commitment, we have grown from a um, community hospital to a more metropolitan teaching institution. Uh, we have uh, almost 400 hospital beds. It's a large institution. And through that commitment, we've been able to recruit a very good physicians and surgeons that have augmented the hospital's commitment to providing care to the, the region. So even though this is a considered a rural area, we have uh, state-of-the-art medicine.